Hello, YouTube. Well, I've never shown you really how my editing, what my editing situation is presently, so I figured I'd do so. Back in the day, I used my Athlon 64 uh, 4800 plus 939 uh, box to do a lot of my editing with Windows Movie Maker and a webcam. After that, I started using... Uh, <coughs> the Mac Mini. And I, the Mac Mini did a lot of my editing. A lot of it. And that carried me through a long, long time of using it. And then I also supplemented that with a 939 box. However, both those computers are gone, and my editing situation has changed over the years, and I'm going to show you what it is at present. Right now, I use two computers to do my editing. This is one of them. I use this MacBook Pro to do a lot of my uh, video editing for YouTube. As you can see, I have a ton of cords just spilling out of the side of this thing. Turn the light on here so that that glare doesn't get in the way. There I have the power cord, direct Ethernet in, a FireWire 400 to 800 adapter plugged into the FireWire 800 port because the only real thing that uses 800 these days is uh, hard drives. This is for the, this is for the uh, cooling fan, the notebook cooler I have under this thing, as you can see about this black glossy plastic, and of course an iPod cord to take the videos off of my uh, iPhone 4S, put them on here for editing, and then stick them on YouTube. This is an incendiary hard drive. <laughs> I don't really use this that much, that hard drive that is, but that's irrelevant right now. Um, This is a machine, the machine I use for editing. That's uh, there she is, the beauty. My background rocks again. So let's just take a look at this machine. As you can see, I have Snow Leopard on this machine. Ten point six point eight. The machine has four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and it is a three point oh six gigahertz Intel Core Two Duo. It's a T ninety nine hundred, I believe. And it's MacBook uh, MacBook Pro 5.2, in case you want to look that up. This is why I use this machine for editing. Look at that processor cache. Six megabytes. There you go. Okay, so it has a DVD burner. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. It has two graphics cards in it. A 9400M and a 9600M GT. You can see which one's better. <laughs> the 9400M is the one I use the most, actually, because you don't really need the 9600M GT for anything but gaming, in case you wanted the game on here. But this is the specs of the 9400M. And the 9600M GT. And there you have it. It has a 500 gigabyte Seagate drive in it that came with the computer, which remarkably hasn't died yet. So maybe Seagate's drives aren't as bad as I think they are. But it's been working since I got the computer in 2009, so I'm not going to complain too much. In the dock here, I have Firefox. I use Firefox to upload the YouTube videos. I use iMovie down there to edit them. In fact, I'll show you what iMovie 06 looks like. In fact, you can see the last video I edited on here, which is that video of the turntable. As we Wesley like said, even my updates have updates. So, here we are with an update to the whole 78 transferring system. And there you have it. That's my editing solution, is iMovie 06. And the reason I like it so much is because of the way you can edit with keyboard shortcuts. I can press Command-T just to cut a clip in half. Look at, let's just make an example out of one. Move that to the middle and I press command T. Splits the clip straight in half at the playhead. That is extremely convenient for editing. I've grown very used to editing with uh, by just doing that for the most part and I don't feel like going back to anything else to tell you the truth. <laughs> and 
although ex exporting is slow, it actually exports it properly without audio sync issues. It works every single time without fail. And that's why I've used this for so long. Plus, I love the interface. Absolutely love the interface. I think the interface for the newer iMovie is like a watered-down Final Cut Pro. It's terrible. I don't like it at all. And this and iMovie 06 works both on PowerPC Max and Intel Max. This even works on OS X Lion, if you would like to do that, which is OS 10.7. However, this is Snow Leopard, so I'm going to I'm going to be keeping Snow Leopard on here for Rosetta support. But that is editing on this computer. And this video will likely be edited on this computer and uploaded with this computer. So, that's how I edit videos for YouTube. Simple as that. There is one thing I forgot to add to the dock on the MacBook Pro here, and that is... No, it's not utilities. It's, uh image capture. I use image capture to bring in um, the videos and pictures from my iPhone 4S to for the HD videos and everything. So that's what I used to bring in the uh, uh, the videos into the computer. And of course I also supplement my editing with the eMac. Now, what I've done, basically, since I have the eMac and the MacBook Pro, I use the MacBook Pro for editing HD content, such as what I'm filming now. And I use the eMac for editing standard definition content, such as what you've seen in, my, uh, in the coming out video, the goodbye photonic induction video, and the most recent video I posted about the eMac and it running OS 10.4 Tiger. <clears throat> and what do I use to film those videos? Why? One of these little cameras, of course. It is a Sony camera I've made a video about in the past. I use this, I use this particular camera because it supports widescreen. It's a little beat up. I mean, it has a nice chunk taken out of the hinge for the uh, screen there. If that's repairable, somebody let me know if I can get a new hinge for this or something, or if it's just worth buying a new camera. But I'm not going to complain because the thing still works, so... And there you have it. This is how I film. With this camera. I have it in 16 by 9 mode. I have steady shot off. And that's normally how I film. Unless I'm filming uh, an old video game, for example. Like over on this setup over here. Where I will film that in 4x3 mode because the TV is 4x3. <clears throat> and that is how what happens. The, f the camera gets fed into the computer via FireWire 400, as you can see there. And then that gets fed straight into iMovie here, which this computer happily supports, no problem. <laughs> Jump cut. Before, I before iMovie opens, I should probably tell you the specs of this machine as well. As you can see, it's running OS 10.4.11, which is Tiger. It has a 1.42 GHz PowerPC G4 processor and 768 megabytes of RAM. The graphics card in this is an FX... No, it's not an FX5200. What the hell is this? No, it's an ATI... Um, ATI Radeon 9600. That's what's in this computer. Hardware. It's an eMac. The L2 cache on the processor is rather low. It's 512K instead of uh, 1 megabyte, but it still works for video editing just fine. And that's why I'm running Tiger on here because it's a much lighter operating system. Anyhow, back to what I was doing. And there you go. You can even see the ca that the camera's on through the screen, so I could film without even using tape if I wanted to. Let me turn exposure off. Or manual exposure off. That's better. 
There you have it. Shut the camera off. But this is editing on the eMac here, which you saw the most recent video of. Here we are back with the eMac again. And, as you can see, I have an OS X installation pulled up. And there you have it. That's, um, editing on the eMac is just the same as editing on the MacBook Pro, and that's what I like. I like very consistent, I like things to be consistent like that, so that's what I use. And I can also upload, and I also upload the videos using the, uh, Camino web browser, which I really should show you, so I don't know why I turned this off just now. There, I've started that back up. I've also started my bedroom computer. Because what I have to do to get this thing hooked up to the internet is use internet connection sharing. A service that Windows offers. So I have an ethernet cable plugged into here, which goes across behind the monitor through this messy desk to the back of here. And then that hooks, that gray cable right there hooks right into there. And then it uses that for the internet. As you can see, I have an antenna here on the Wi-Fi card. And that Wi-Fi card gets its signal from a router just uh, just beyond that wall over there and that is that router is bridged wirelessly so it's a bridge repeater so the signal is quite uh, ghettoized in my opinion but it does get the job done and I'll show you I don't I don't even have to log in and it'll work fine now what I use to upload videos as I said before is Camino G4 optimized version which is quite fast on Tiger I have to say Now, Flash doesn't work on Camino. Well, it does work, but Flash doesn't work on uh, OS 10.4. But that doesn't even matter because you don't need Flash to upload videos. So I go to YouTube here. And as you can see, the page looks normal and everything on here. Just because it's old doesn't mean it doesn't work. So I go to upload here. And then I can upload my videos, no problem. So, I still edit on an old computer. <laughs> gotta, love, gotta keep these vintage machines alive somehow. And so, any computer that's useful for something is still useful. So, I'm going to use this computer. And that is my current editing situation. I use the eMac for standard definition and the MacBook Pro for high definition content. Uh, eventually, when I can't use iMovie 06 anymore, um, I'm probably going to move to Linux, to be honest with you, because Caden Live and OpenShot both uh, seem to be really good video editors on Linux that give you the control that iMovie 06 has and that QuickTime 7 on Mac OS X has. Well, QuickTime 7 has a bit of control on Windows as well, but you, you get my point. The video editors on Windows are they're they're all right but a lot of them cost money such as adobe premiere and sony vegas those all cost money therefore that's way out of my ballpark because i've used iMovie 6 for so long and haven't had and only paid for it once so on linux when i can get just as powerful content for free i'm going to choose linux so that's my present editing, editing situation, in case you guys you are curious, although I bet that's just about three of you. <laughs> Whatever. I may be wrong. You guys might be curious about it, so that's how it works. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.